Someone asked, how do I know I'm saved? A trick question, because we won't be saved unless and until we receive the gift of eternal life at Jesus' return. Short of that, we will perish, very much unsaved. In this mortal life, we may enter justification with God rather than be under condemnation. The Apostle Paul explains what is required to be in justification. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. While we are abiding in Christ, and in repentance are following the Holy Spirit, we remain in justification. We are in His goodness, or grace, and we have the hope of salvation. But let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love, and for a an helmet the hope of salvation. For God has not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Jesus Christ. We don't stop sinning the moment we enter justification, but while we abide in Jesus, He leads us out of slavery to sin. As many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. Be zealous, therefore, and repent. An ongoing relationship with Him yields the peaceable fruit of righteousness unto them which are exercised thereby. And while we are abiding in Christ, and in repentance are following the Holy Spirit, Jesus covers any new sins by His blood. But if we walk in the light, as He is in the light, we have fellowship one with another, and the blood of Jesus Christ His Son cleanses us from all sin. If we revert to unrepentance and willful sin, no longer following the Holy Spirit, and no longer abiding in Jesus, then we fall away from justification and are no longer in His goodness or grace. No sacrifice is available to cover our new sins. We return to condemnation, and we forfeit that hope of salvation. For if we sin willfully after that we have received the knowledge of the truth, there remains no more sacrifice for sins, but a certain fearful looking for of judgment and fiery indignation which shall devour the adversaries. If a man abide not in me, he is cast forth as a branch, and is withered, and men gather them, and cast them into the fire, and they are burned. Behold, therefore, the goodness and severity of God, on them which fell, severity, but toward thee, goodness, if thou continue in his goodness, otherwise thou also shalt be cut off. Let us therefore fear, lest a promise being left us of entering into his rest, any of you should seem to come short of it. So to answer the question, how does one know that they are saved? No one will be saved from ever perishing in death until they actually receive the promised gift of eternal life and Jesus' revelation, his return. And this is the promise that he has promised us, even eternal life. Wherefore, gird up the loins of your mind, be sober, and hope to the end for the grace that is to be brought unto you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. Meanwhile, in this mortal life, we may enter justification with God and have the hope of salvation. If we continue to abide in Jesus, we shall be saved through him. Much more than being now justified by his blood, we shall be saved from wrath through him. God lets us know where we stand through the Holy Spirit. If we are straying from justification, he lets us know. Paul explains, Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind, and reaching forth unto those things which are before, I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Let us therefore, as many as be perfect, be thus minded. And if in anything you be otherwise minded, God shall reveal even this unto you. So that's how God lets us know.